Hello, I am Wolfgang Puck, and today I will teach you to spend the rest of your life making pizza. Yeah, not so much. Uh, I'm the awful chef. I want to eat, especially tonight at work, so I'd better cook something. I'm in the mood for pizza, and I'm actually going to teach you a few magic tricks. It takes about 45 minutes, and most of that time is spent baking. So, what do we got? Well, let's do the magic motion sickness here. And I got a bowl full of flour. Oh, is that just the most exciting thing you have there? So that is half a cup of self-rising flour. And we are going to make an instant pizza crust. Technically impossible, but it works. Here we have our magic, magic ingredient. Half a cup, yes, I'm freezing today, of Greek yogurt. Full fat. Oh. I don't know what's going on, but I am just cold all the time now. So half a cup Greek yogurt, all fat, half a cup of self-rising flour. Why do I measure, or why do I use a specific amount of fluid? Because the fluid controls how much dough you make, and I need this much dough. We're going to be doing a few more bits of magic today, too. As you can see, the dough is very wet and slowly coming together. So let's try putting this together. You'll notice no stand mixers, no scales, just a measuring cup, and you don't even need that. I'm using that to provide you a sense of reference. Just find the amount of dough you want and use the same amount every time, and that's it. Okay, so this dough is very wet and very shaggy, which is not surprising. Okay. Ugh, I'm moving slow today. I don't know what's going on, but I no longer sleep. I simply nap briefly at night now. Okay, you'll notice my precise measurement technique there. The dough is delightfully coming together. So, yeah, as opposed to making a yeast dough and spending three days, four days, letting it rise, etc., we are using full fat Greek yogurt and um, self rising flour to create an instant pizza dough. So, quantities, why quantities? You'll see I'm folding the dough to incorporate the flour. Yeah, there is actually a little bit of knowledge here at the Awful Chef. My wife says I do everything wrong, but. You know, at the end of the day, we have food. Okay, this is coming together quite nicely as a very quick pizza dough. I do miss my mixing bowl. The shape makes it much more convenient. But then, of course, I can't show you anything. because it is not clear. Okay, picking up a little more flour using the wet side of the dough. Okay, dough, ugh. So today we are making Detroit style pizza. And that is kind of my favorite. Neapolitan is my wife, so I will have to enjoy this on my own. Okay, here you see my magic 8x8 eight eight, um, baking pan. Theoretically non-stick, once upon a time. It is very greased. Okay, this dough needed a little more flour. Ugh. 
And you'll notice there's a little extra butter in the bottom of this. Yeah, that's bad news. Oh yeah, terrible news. Basically, we are frying the dough in butter fat in the bottom of the pan inside the oven. I told you, there's a little magic to this today. Biggest magic trick would be if I'd thought ahead enough to um, get a paper towel. Okay, so the dough is a little bit wet and a little bit sticky, which is not ideal, but it works. You know, I'm the awful chef. I just got to make it work, you know. So, here we go. It took a little bit of effort. And it really should take more flour. Like this. Yeah, it's that simple. We are incorporating the dough. We are basically kneading the dough as we spread it out. Okay. Now, because it's self-rising, it will expand in the pan. Don't sweat it if you're not completely covered everywhere because the dough will grow. Okay. Let's do some magic stuff now. Well, some more magic stuff. Okay, so even though this looks absolutely less than perfect, it's fine. Because the dough will expand as it cooks and fill in some of the gaps. Don't get carried away. But what's really going to hide the imperfections is the next step. See, the thing about Detroit-style pizza is the caramelized cheese crust. Yeah, there we go. There's your baby. <coughs> so, I got store brand, low moisture, impossible to open mozzarella here. Hang on. There we are. Yeah, that was off camera. You didn't see me do that. So, oh, it's, I'm just cold these days and I don't sleep now. La, 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 listen to me gripe. That's why I started this channel, so I'd have somebody to gripe at. So, the um, sides of the pan are buttered as well, which is going to allow the cheese to stick to it. The butter acts as an adhesive. And as the cheese melts, it will drip down and caramelize. That's why I wasn't too worried about getting it all, all the way to the edge. Because, well, when you don't, it turns out better. Okay, I'm literally creating a bowl of cheese with this inexpensive store brand mozzarella. Pre-shredded. Oh my god, Wolfgang Puck's rolling at me right now. He's going to come here with a tank and blow me away. So, mozzarella. What do you think? That's almost more cheese than dough. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Don't do that. Okay. So, what is pizza? It's an open-faced cheese sandwich with some tomato. And in this case, I'm going to be adding some meat because this is going with me to work. Okay, more cheese. Oh, don't do that. A little bit of Parmesan. Just a, just a little bit. You know, you don't want to overdo this for health reasons. Don't do too much cheese. A little bit along the sides because nothing crusts up like Parmesan. We go through a few of these a week, you know. Or I should honestly say a month. 
But yeah, we do go through some Parmesan in this house. And again, the butter is acting as an adhesive. <coughs> oh. Oh, allergy season in the California mountains. Gotta love it. Early spring. Okay. Mozzarella, Parmesan, and because of the kind of person I am, I like a little Romano. Be careful with that. It is a very, very powerful cheese. In this case, it's actually freshly grated by me from a block and stored in the little container that you see. Okay. Now, from what I understand of classic Detroit-style pizza, it has stripes of sauce. Yeah, right. The thing about this channel is we do everything as live as possible. I don't make you watch things cook in the oven, but there is no, not a lot of editing possible given the fact that I use um, very primitive equipment. What that means in simple terms is this is literally how long it takes to make a pizza. Provided you are not freezing to death the way I am. A little more sauce. Yeah, I like sauce. And that ought to do it. Yes, I'm using a jarred marinara. I suggest you use whichever one you like. It is not always the one that costs the most that tastes the best. So sauce right on up, soaking in the cheese. Oh, horrible. A rich marinara, three kinds of Italian cheese, and a crust made from full fat yogurt and self rising flour literally lying in a bed of butter. Ooh. Oh, oh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Okay. Yes, I am using pepperoni. Shame on me. It's not gourmet, whatever. It's what I like. How much pepperoni? As much as you want. I actually like it kind of light because... I love the tomatoes sauce a lot. And you know, given the fact this is an 8x8 baking pan that you pick up at the supermarket for basically nothing, you know, just use what you want. Hmm. Yay. Cooking for one. Tends to let you taste things a little bit more often than you would if you were um, cooking for more than one. Okay. Now the last magic trick is to pour some olive oil on top, just a little, and bake it. And you hear these guys say, oh, bake it at 5,000 degrees for whatever, 30 seconds, etc. Uh, yeah. I got a little, watch out for the motion sickness here, a little Costco countertop oven behind me. I'm going to throw this in on the convection setting, which is 350, for about half an hour. And then I'm going to take a look at it and possibly use the broil setting to put more of a crust on top. And that's it. Pizza. So I'm um, going to encourage you to do that YouTube thing and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, otherwise YouTube will think I'm antisocial on social media. And that's it. I encourage you to give this a try. It's going to be great for me tonight at work. Thanks. Bye.